Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Jill with Go English Coach. I've got a list of words here, and we're going to put them in these categories. So we're going to be practicing figuring out or determining how many syllables are in each word, okay? Now, this can become really a really helpful tool. We have a lot of long words in English, and so getting really good at being able to know how and wh where the stress goes in the word is really important. And, you know, because you will encounter or come across words that you're not familiar with, but you're like, oh, I can remember this rule about how to pronounce the word, okay? Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna put all of these words over here under these categories, okay? So we've got syllable, one syllable words, two syllable, three, and four. So actually, if you guys would like to pause this video, let's do that. Why don't you pause this and start to work through this list here? Okay, how did everybody do? All right, let's get started. So we've got arrive, arrive. You can listen to me say it and you can kind of or clap, right? You can say like arrive. So we've got two, okay? Two syllables in the word arrive. If you add, so there's also kind of some strategies, arrival. So it's arrive, is two, and then you have arrival, three. So you can keep adding these suffixes, right? A suffix is the word, the part of a word that goes at the end. You have prefixes and we have suffixes, okay? Arrive is um, their business. So this is a little bit of a tricky one because it looks like it has three syllables, business, but we don't say it like that. We say business, so it has two, okay, business, okay, authority, authority, good, okay, curious, curious, what do you hear, three, Curious, great, okay, beautiful, Be beautiful, 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 <laughs> three. Okay, competition, competition, four. Okay, curious, oh, I have curious twice, we don't need to do that twice, essay. Essay, mm -hmm. two, so let's put that over here. Essay, do you see any in this list that have just one? Yeah, we've got some down here. So we've got, what do you guys think? What's the first one that we have? Yeah, own, perfect, we did that one. Okay, let's go back to, we did essay, great, dictionary. Dictionary, four. Okay, dictionary, boom, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. That's actually five. It has it. Oh, intermediate. Okay, so that's actually five. We're gonna put that down here. Intermediate. Okay. Manager. Manager. Okay. Omitted. <laughs> If you can see which word, I have the word here, immediate, and I said intermediate. So I said two different words. So immediate would go here. Immediate and intermediate is five, okay? Okay, omitted, omitted, omitted is three. The two, M-I-T-T-E-D. Okay, text that has only one. And then page as well. And please, please has one syllable, okay? Positive, positive, three. 
And then the last one we have is center, center. Okay, good work on that, you guys. Now, let's go through and put where in, so you don't have to do anything here to determine stress because it's just a one syllable word, right? But for these other words, we're, let's let's start listening for the the stress in the word, okay? So we have the word arrive, arrive. So it splits here and this is stressed. So we have arrive, okay? So you can kind of think of it like this. It goes here and then it goes up. Business, business. So we're gonna go like this and we're gonna stress here, business. Essay, essay, essay. Okay, so you can hear it here and here. Center, center. Okay, yep, it's in the beginning here, center. Okay, three, the three syllable words, we have curious, curious. So we have curious, curious. Okay, so there's a stress here and it kind of steps down. So you might wanna, like that, you might wanna think about it like that. Beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful is a stress in the first syllable. Manager. Same thing, omitted, omitted, that's in the middle, omitted, omitted, okay. Positive, positive, positive. So stress right in that first syllable, okay? All right, hopefully this is super easy for you guys. Authority, authority. So let's do this, authority, authority. Authority, we're stressing right here. Okay, competition, 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 competition. And the stress is the second one from the end, the second one from the end, or we can say second to last. So this is the last syllable. This we call the second to last, okay? Dictionary, dictionary, dic. Dictionary. Dictionary. Stress is here. Immediate. 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 It's in the stress is right there. All right. And then our last one. Intermediate. 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 Where do you hear the stress there? Intermediate. Intermediate. Boom. Right in the middle, in syllable th three. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. All right, really good job on that. So there are some rules that kind of help us to know when we come across words that we we aren't familiar with. And they're like, oh gosh, I can see this word and I think I know how to pronounce it, but I don't know that I know where the stress will go. So um, we will start learning some of those in the upcoming classes. Next class, I would like to move into um, looking at some of the consonant sounds as well. So there's some, you know, when we start looking at T-I-O-N, when we pronounce that as shun, we can look at things like here where you have the word omitted, but we don't say omitted. There's like that middle T sound and lots of different ways to pronounce the American T. Um, so we'll be talking about that in um, class next week as well.